the most important steps you can take to, so that you don't lose your animals are to make sure that they have a tag on with your cell phone number on. Because if they've got the cell phone number on them and someone sees your dog running around, they will have a look if the dog will come to them and they can call you and contact you immediately, which stops a lot of stress for you on that part. So that's the first thing you must do. I also have the telephone number embroidered on the collar. You can send to the internet and have this done because the tag can fall off and you may not notice it. But if you get the collar with the telephone number on and also a tag, then the number's on both of them. The next thing you can do is always walk your dog in the neighborhood. That way they're familiar with the neighborhood, they know the walk, and they know the area. And often a dog will take off and just go out for a walk and they will come back. There's a chance they'll come back. So familiarize them with the neighborhood so that they, are, they know where they're going, they know the walks and they know how to get home. In some areas, you know, you're not allowed to put fences up, but if you can put a fence up, you must round your yard because that keeps your dog in. If you don't or you're not allowed to put a fence up, I don't recommend them normally, but an electric fence is better than nothing. And do remember, if you put one of those up, your battery has to be in tip-top condition. You also, if an, there's an electrical storm and the electricity is turned off, that dog can get out. Also, when you have that, you get other animals that can come into your yard, but he can't get out of it. You'll have other dogs coming in. And so there are a lot of disadvantages with it, but there are also advantages. So if you can, put one of those up if you can't put a fence up. Now, if you happen to have a dog that every time the door is open, that dog runs out into the road through your door, you must put, before, you must put that dog on a leash before you go to the door and open it so that you know that dog is safe and it can't dart out into the road. So you have to think beforehand because many dogs get run over like that. Many dogs get lost like that. So please take the precautions before you open that door. Many of you will have microchips on animals, but remember that's not much good if it's running around and someone picks it up because the microchips sometimes, that even, you know, the vets have difficulty finding them. But when you've got the tags, everyone can see that tag. And usually the microchip is used if they do eventually arrive at a shelter or the pound and then they check it. But generally, while your dog's running around, you know, people want to see somewhere they can contact you or the owner of the dog to be able to get that dog, you know, back to you. Now, when I'm finding lost animals myself for clients, it's the most intense work that I do. It's the most troubling work that I do. And there was one point in my career when I did give it up because it's heartbreaking. I feel the, your emotions of the human and the animals lost. And also tracking an animal for me, I actually can get inside the body and I track it. And I can see what he sees from his perspective. And I often, usually always find the area where where the animal has gone to or where it's located but people still have to go and put the flyers out and they have to do their, their work and they have to keep at it and so for me to do an animal lost animal is something that I find is very the most difficult work that I do. Mm -hmm.